we're ready to move on to making our own sushi. Woo! And we made our brown rice beforehand. A lot of traditional restaurants use white rice. And white rice has had the bran and the germ removed, but there's actually really great essential oils in those parts, specifically in the bran, which has really um, great fatty acids in it that you really don't want to get rid of, and some vitamins like oils and things like that. And so, fiber, which you need fiber. Like a healthy, you know, okay. thing going on. So we made our brown rice a little bit earlier because we did want to give it some time to cool. You don't really want to make your rice a day in advance because when you put it in the fridge, it hardens up a little bit. So you still want to be able to work with it a little bit. Yeah, so one of the ingredients that we're going to add in to our sushi roll is some glazed shiitake mushrooms. So we just have these shiitakes. You wipe them off with a damp cloth and that's how you clean them. And then we're going to saute those really fast with a little bit of this neutral tasting oil. This is just the coconut in the refined coconut oil. And then we're gonna go ahead and glaze them with a little bit of this tamari and the brown rice syrup. So we'll put that on there. And then we'll just give these a little chop. They'll shrink, mushrooms shrink a lot. You don't have to add this to your sushi roll, but it is a good idea. It's a really good idea. It definitely kicks them up a bit. So just make thin slices um, so that the, you'll think about the way that you're going to roll your sushi and how you want to make everything go in a line. So you don't want anything too thick. You want thin strips of everything that you're putting in your sushi roll, including carrot, avocado, anything that you're going to use like that. Cucumber. And then we'll just saute these in here. And we'll put, we'll glaze them with a little bit of our brown rice vinegar, tamari, and brown rice syrup. All right. Cupcake. Okay, done. So for the shiitake mushrooms, it doesn't take very long to cook these through. You just want to give these a really quick saute. And just like how you can use brown rice in your sushi instead of white rice, you can buy brown rice vinegar and use that instead of just a regular rice vinegar mm -hmm. or a processed rice vinegar. So this is just the um, type that we got. It's just the organic Eden brown rice vinegar. They make a lot of really amazing vinegars and products. Uh, they make umeboshi plum paste, which mm -hmm. is really good. Um, it's a very macrobiotic ingredient and um, a good cure for hangover. <laughs> but um, so we never use it for that purpose, nope. though. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's two calories a tablespoon. Oh, so it's a low wow! Cal. I know, so fun. Thank you. Yeah. So this is the rice that we use. It's just the 365 organic short grain brown. So you do want to look for a short grain. You can get this in the bulk bin of, you know, your natural market, anything like that. Yeah. I wanted to show you that. So when you're making sushi rice, you cook the rice through according to the direction. So we're using a short grain brown rice. And then what you do is you actually cut in some brown rice vinegar and some organic sugar and some salt. And that's how sushi rice has that wonderful flavor. You don't just use plain old rice because then it won't have that wonderful flavor and the stickiness that you need. So we actually just um, made two bowls of this. These are our bowl covers. We know they're so 50s, but they're not shower caps. They just are reusable instead of plastic wrap. So then when you're traditionally um, incorporating the vinegar and the sugar and the salt in, you cut it into the rice in different directions so you don't necessarily just really squish the rice and kind of um, completely break it down. And then you have this really nice, very sticky kind of rice that you can mold into the wrapper. And we're going to make two kinds of rolls. We can do a hand roll and we can do a rolled nori maki. Okay, cup roll. Mm -hmm. So we cooked our rice with water, and then when the rice is done cooking, that's when you transfer to a bowl and incorporate in those ingredients, the you know organic sugar and the vinegar and all that stuff. So you don't do it before you cook it, because that would take the flavor and just kind of manipulate it and manipulate the texture a little bit. Those are looking good. I think those are pretty much done. They smell good too. And in your sushi, wouldn't be complete without a little bit of wasabi. So, we have wasabi that we're going to make into a paste. When you buy it in the store, if you buy a sushi roll and from a natural market or whatever, wherever you're buying it from, or if you have it in a restaurant, they've already made the paste. 
but you can make the paste by just buying this spirulina, turmeric, and horseradish are in here. So real wasabi powder is a ground up root that's really hard to find. So that's why um, you can just use this instead. Bummer that we're gonna cover up the little fishes that they put on the label. Mm -hmm. Don't need them. No? Also, when you buy wasabi in an Asian market or in any market, read the ingredients. Sometimes they sneak in some milk products and you would never think it, but it has happened before, especially the, the tubes. Yeah, those tubes, they always sneak it in there because it's already kind of a paste. Um, so what you do is you rehydrate this with water and then you stir it around. I'll let you do that, and I hate this stuff. it smells really strong like wasabi. I love I'm wasabi. I'm gonna go over here, have I your own party. I love wasabi. Oh, you're really, that's, <laughs> you're committed. really excited. You whisk it with a little bit of water and you make a paste. You don't want to overdo the water or else it will be too liquidy. So you just kind of want to incorporate it in little bits. Just stir it together until it becomes that beautiful green wasabi. I can eat this whole thing, so don't worry about it. I know, is that, is that, is that, that grosses all of you out on this side. <laughs> so you just kind of whisk it and then you have this wasabi paste that you can mold into those cute shapes like in a sushi bar or whatever you want to do or the ones that Heather avoids like the plate in a sushi like, bar. Like, take it off my plate, sis. She's like, don't let it touch my plate. I'm just kidding, she doesn't talk to me like that, usually. <laughs> All right, so that smells really good and strong like wasabi, so uh, I, I enjoy it. You can put wasabi in potato salad if you love wasabi. Don't give me nightmares. <laughs> You're trying, trying to just to... freak me out? No, I think it's a great thing to do. Why would okay. you ruin potato salad? I know. Ah! <laughs> Cafe. <laughs> so we're using a couple of other ingredients. You can go crazy on the kinds of veggies that you put into your rolls. We're going to use some, um, some carrots, some red pepper, cucumbers, and avocado. So you can pretty much, if you're having, we like to have sushi parties. We're having one right now. But sometimes when we have a dinner party, we'll invite all of our friends over and we'll just have all this stuff out and we'll have our own sushi making party. And it's really fun to get people involved. You can also make your own Philadelphia roll and that has fish in it and that has um, some cream cheese. So we use a vegan cream cheese and we use red bell peppers to take the place of the fish for that color. Um, and that texture. You can also incorporate cashews. We love putting cashews in there. We love putting in sweet potatoes, cooked sweet potatoes. Or you can um, make your own tempura and then go really crazy yeah. and put it in a roll. But, you know, this is moderate. So we're just going to... I'm going to sneak another there. bowl just so that we can put our um, mushrooms in a bowl so that we can add them to our sushi. So these shiitakes have cooked down and you can see that they're really nice and um, glazed and soft, so they'll make a good addition to the sushi rolls. So we're gonna give you all a plate and you all a plate, and we will just do a little demo on how to make your own, and then we'll go to town. So what we really like to do is we like to take our mat, and we like to cover it with a little bit of saran wrap, and that just ensures that it's not gonna stick to your mat. It's a really great way of dealing with that. Yeah, if you're gonna make a lot of sushi rolls or you are having a party, sometimes those little bits of rice can get stuck in there big time. So you wanna do that. And then Heather will make a, a cut roll and I'll make a hand roll. Yeah. Yeah? So we're just gonna use some paper here. So nori sheets, um, for making sushi, you can buy in many different markets. The organic one is a little bit harder to find. That was definitely a Whole Foods purchase. But um, we just cut the sheets in half to make a hand roll. And you can see that one side is a little bumpier and one side is a little shinier. Mm -hmm. So when you're making a roll that's cut, you put the shiny side face down. And this is what we're using. So you can get um, nori that isn't organic. We prefer that it is. You guys do whatever you want. Yes. And it helps to have damp hands when you are going to make your sushi roll. Mm -hmm. So do you have damp hands? Do you want to do a hand roll now? I'll do a hand roll. Okay. Okay, so in a hand roll, basically, you're thinking about making that cone shape of sushi. So you would take um, about, you know, a quarter cup or so and press it into one kind of direction, a diagonal direction, like the way that your hand is pointing, okay? And so we're gonna put in our ingredients in the same direction, and then we're gonna use a tiny bit of, you know, rice at the end to seal it up. 
So with this type of role, you can play around with whatever it is that you want to put in, um, in here. And it's nice if it sticks out a little, plus you're going to roll it so it'll stick out a tiny bit anyway. I think this is the part that makes it 80s. Oh, really? Maybe the stick out and the colors. Maybe? I'm really into it. I don't know. I'm totally into it. I love the 80s. I'm not going to use that because that's for everybody. Okay, so when you're using the roll, I'm a lefty, so that's why um, I hold it in my right hand. And you just kind of tuck the filling around. Start with the corner that's closest to the filling and then keep rolling it. You're gonna do a little roll with both hands. Tuck and roll, tuck and roll. Is that like what you do in a fire? The old tuck and roll? Tuck and roll. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, is that even what people do anymore? They're just like, no, I'm on my iPhone. I'm not going to do any of that. <laughs> and then you can take a little bit of the rice at the end and seal up the bottom. And so you get this little hand roll that's really fun to make. And you can put, cut half sheets of sushi um, nori out and have everybody at your party just make their own hand roll or whatever you want to do. Fun, easy, so fun. easiest thing ever. Yes. So um, I will make a cut roll. And what you want to do is... You don't want to really overstuff this with rice because then it's really, really hard to work with. So what you want to do is you want to just sort of flatten it out as best you can. And you want to keep a little room on the top and a little tiny bit of room on the bottom. And as she's doing that, you can see that the lines of the sushi mat are actually, um, you know, in a horizontal direction. So you don't want to do this vertically or else your roll you know, be shaped kind of funky. So that's just something to keep in mind. It helps with damp hands. It does help with damp hands. You want, you want to damping your hands? I think I'm okay, sis. Okay. Thank you. She's a very good sister. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling good about this. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do um, some shiitake mushrooms in here. It's really hard for me not to eat one right now, but I'll be good. And then, some cukes, that's what we call them in here. Cukes, so that, so the mushrooms, cuke, and a little cream cheese you can put in there, vegan cream cheese, that would be a really good roll too. If you wanna play around, or avocado, always delicious. This is the California edition, that's why we think of it. Oh, right, right. Oh, gosh. So Obsessed. you take the bottom of your mat, and you just kinda of bring it over, and then you pull it back towards yourself a little bit. You don't wanna use a lot of force, because then you can break it. And then you just kind of keep a going. You just keep going, you tighten it up, you roll it over. Mm -hmm. And if you do like wasabi, you can put a little bit of paste I'm and not. seal your sushi with the wasabi. I will not. Yes. And you can give it just like a little bit of a roll. Yeah. And that's what the mat is really great for. I just wanna show you. So um, another thing that you can do is rock it in the middle. And then as you're putting it together, just make that rolling shape and keep pulling it back on both sides so that you're using your roller and really getting a nice round out of there. And it helps also to use a very sharp um, knife or a serrated knife to cut your sushi that's damp. Because if it's damp, which I'll just dampen it real Thank quick, you. you won't get those bits and pieces on there. And just because I want to be like super sushi, I'm not even going to wash this rice off when I do yes. this. <laughs> so you usually cut off both ends. So you want to make sure that you um, kind of pinch the sides if you can. And then those will be the pieces that you get to pop up. Um, and then you'll get the straighter pieces. And what I like to do is I like to sort of hold my finger over the part that I'm not cutting um, just to stabilize it a little bit. And then you really do need a serrated knife for this. Yeah. You go straight down. And if you, um, yeah, and if you use the serrated and you're not going to put too much pressure on it, you go back and forth a lot, then you won't squish it, make all the goodies come out. That looks like adorable little sushi. You're adorable. And if you make that for someone that you love, that's like... That shows that you love them. Very much. Not only you have to prove it, but if you want to prove it, I mean, you know, why not? Mm -hmm.